Red Dead Redemption 2. A game full of cowboys and horses. Sounds cool, right? Well, I guess not to the people that made the game. Hello there. General Kenobi. Jeffrey, shut up. Only 20% of people watching are subscribed. So, you know, hit that button right now or the horse gets it. After creating this very small, barely unknown game called GTA 5, Rockstar Games decided to start work on a sequel to the 2010 game Red Dead Redemption. And with all of the money coming in from those filthy shark cards they put out, Rockstar would clearly have no money issues with this game. And after years, they showed off the first bit of rendered gameplay on the 20th of October 2016. To say it looked beautiful would be an understatement. Do you agree, Jeffrey? Also, teasing a release date of fall 2017. We skip past another year to the supposed release date, and, well, the game had been delayed another year. Which is no problem. I would rather have a finished game other than Cyberpunk. Meanwhile, GTA 5 is getting tons of updates. Thousands of new players every day, so this was bound to get people excited for the same to be done with Red Dead Online. Well, that's what we expected. Finally, the game released on October 26, 2018, for the world to play. The game was great, the story and characters were done perfectly. Don't worry, there will be no spoilers here. The open world was massive, full of wildlife, deers, bears, and of course, crocodiles. The NPCs were so creative seeing the world change depending on your actions and what you choose to do. Just don't go around starting bar fights and everything might be alright. It was fantastic. Well, for those that somehow finished the story early, you're in luck. You can hop straight into Red Dead Online. And let's just say, from day one, it was a ghost town. Spawning in and instantly getting hogtied and shot up by some randoms obviously made some people stick to the base game. And with little to no content, not even being able to fully rob a train, barely any NPCs available, and about three players on this massive open world map. But then, players started to notice something. A game released five years ago was receiving more content and updates than the game that had just released. I know what you are going to say. It's just a cowboy game. What else can they add? Jeffrey, what do you think they should add? No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Maybe new fish, as everybody kept clickbaiting those. More bounty hunters. More missions. Maybe some DLC. I'm sure there are thousands of players that would pay for this. As of course, Rockstar does love their money. At this point, the only thing keeping the tiny Red Dead Online community alive were the roleplay communities, and that one stupid group that takes it too seriously. And of course, being the only online cowboy game available to play. But finally, Rockstar listened after months of nothing. We now have monthly events and some new outfits. Yay. This is literally my reaction to that. And as you guessed, GTA 5 has had about 500 updates at the time of this. And with the next gen consoles releasing at the last quarter of 2020, everybody started to wonder when the 60 FPS patch would be coming. One year later, and it was nowhere to be seen. No mention of it from Rockstar, but let's be honest, that's not surprising, as they have barely updated the game anyway. Another year came, and still no words about the update until the 5th of July, when a report came out saying a patch would be coming down the road. More like down a dirt path, because Red Dead doesn't have any roads. But moving on, although Red Dead Online got little updates in 2019 and 2020, since of July 2021, the game has not been updated in over 287 days. 
Yes, you heard me. 287 days. They at least updated the gold bars. Gotta get that money. I mean, look at the prices of these. And barely anything since. With another report coming out on the 4th of July 2021, Rockstar sadly confirmed the end of major updates for Red Dead Online. Which also is not surprising, since GTA Plus seems to be getting them enough money to do other projects. So, I think it's a good time to say that Red Dead Online is basically dead. We're going to take a minute of silence for that one Stadia player who still does not have his account back. Although Rockstar gave him a goodie bag after a couple thousand hours of him playing their game. Okay, that's enough time.